When creating a new Iridium project, you should start with creating its graphic interface, that is graphic covering of a project, its pages, pop-ups, its graphic items, and create a navigation menu between these pages. In your new project, you have to select its resolution, that is resolution of a target device where a project must work on. You can set up any resolution and set up any properties you want. Then you should indicate the first project page. To return to project settings, I'll press the project properties button. Here you can select a project name, its resolution and orientation on a target device. Orientation can be landscape or portrait. It's a position in which the project must work on your smartphone or tablet. Here you can indicate settings of launching the project, its sound properties and properties of displaying the project. For example, scale type is a way of stretching a project on a target device. You can select scale type none. That means resolution and size of a project won't change if it is launched on a control panel where the resolution is higher than that of the project. I'm having the same project, but now I'm changing its scale type. Now it's proportional. That means the project will change its size proportionally. It will stretch relative to the sizes of the control panel. And now let's select full size scale type. It will change its sizes relative to sizes of the control panel without saving project proportions. The third thing you have to do when creating a project, create its graphic items. They will be used for command sending to the equipment or for navigation in the project. You can do it with the help of the following tools, Draw Item and Selection. The Draw Item tool enables you to draw graphic items and the Selection tool enables you to change sizes of graphic items and to move graphic items in the editor working space. When cloning and copying graphic items, you can use combination of buttons, the Shift button plus left click menu. So now you can see cloning of a graphic item. To select several items and move them, you should use indicators on the keyboard to move graphic items on 10 pixels. You should use combination of a hold button, CTRL, and indicators on the keyboard for quick moving items. To change sizes of the graphic item in one pixel, more or less, you should hold the shift button and with the help of indicators increase or decrease its size. It's very convenient for editing sizes of the item. Then if you want to change appearance of the graphic item, you should use the States tab of the Object Properties window. This window is a part of the Project Overview panel. How to set up properties of the graphic items? I'll tell you in the next lessons. In the working space of the editor, you can group graphic items, operate with all of them. You can make them transparent, can add any images on the items from Iridium Gallery, commands of controlling equipment and switching between pages and pop-ups are assigned to a graphic item. All pages and pop-ups are created and edited in the Project Overview tab. To set up switching between pages and assign commands to graphic items, you should use the Programming tab. Here you can see different events, release, hold, move, and gesture for pages. When you have a graphic item, you have another set of events. They are how to work with pages and graphic items, how to set up switching between pages and commands of the items. And let's pass back to work with a project. You should not forget to save changes and make copies, the so-called backups. Set up of auto saving and backup is in the Options tab of Iridium GUI Editor. Here you can see the auto save section. You can switch on saving of a backup here, its copy, if it is damaged by some reason. Iridium GUI Editor is adapted to creating great automation projects. It contains a lot of tools for editing graphic items. You can see lots of tools, 
in the upper editor panel. Here you can see them. These are the tools for aligning items relative to the working area of the editor. Tools for group putting items in a line. It will enable you to align items relative to the left corner. Tools for adjusting the text and tools for aligning or equaling distance of the items. Working area of a Redium Duo I editor is scaled. If you work with a project of high resolution, you can decrease or increase those sizes you want at any time. You can turn on grid. You can return to a project without changes. You can find description of tools of the editor working area on our wiki instructions. Links to them are in the attachment to this lesson.